Hey guys, uh, really quick review. My uh, windless comma just arrived on my doorstep moments ago. Um, I've unpacked it, taken the um, shipping oil off, and initial impressions, I'm gonna grow to love this sword. Um, do I love it right now? Maybe. Um, let's quickly cover the um, the pros and cons. Uh, the first con that most people will see or notice are these ridges or the the rivets. Um, I thought they were going to be a problem for me uh, when I grip it palm side. Not really a problem. Uh, the rivets kind of fit right in, you know, where the hand kind of curves back there. When I grip it with the rivets on the finger side, they just sort of tuck my fingers right in between them. Not an issue. Uh, don't know if I'm going to keep them or not. Um, but after the rivets, one of the first things I noticed was the fit of the scabbard, as you might have heard. And it's it'll keep you from cutting yourself when you go to grab it, but it won't really keep it in. Um, with the metal shape, I, you can probably apply some pressure. Um, I'm just going to get some thin leather and put it on the inside to give it a, a, a better fit. Um, the shoulders of the scabbard kind of go out. Now keep in mind, uh, for those of you that don't know the hype about this blade, it's this is a $35 sword. Um, carbon steel, not stainless. It's So just keep that in mind during this review. Uh, so the scabbard doesn't fit. There's some small little nicks where the peening was done. Um, I think that's the only one I see and it looks like maybe a start of a crack right there. Uh, I'll grab some pictures later. Um, but as far as the blade goes, um, I'm incredibly happy with it. Uh, the old knee test. <sighs> Still perfectly true. And that was, uh, that wasn't a light knee test, that was up there. Um, I got the dull version, because I can sharpen decently myself. Um, the tip, though, if you do get the dull version, comes needle sharp. Uh, a quick little rundown of the harmonics of the blade, and we all know short swords, you don't really have to worry about harmonics as much. But, um, yeah, tip, that's, that's about what we expected, right? And that's where it starts biting, right there at the, uh, and there, and it just kind of, all the way up the blade. And right towards the top, well, no, it, yep. All the way up and down the blade, it's sticking it even a little bit into the tip. Um, but not as much as the sweet spot. Uh, this. I love this blade. Uh, 35 bucks, it's like a really pretty machete. And as you can see, or may or may not be able to see, it's still straight. Um, it's pretty deep into the wood. It's, I would hate to destruction test this, because uh, I don't know if it could be destroyed. Unless it came up against a katana. Sorry for the joke there. But. Yeah, uh, windless comma, 35 bucks.
kills stands. Or at least throwing targets.